The St. Bernard is a very recognisable breed due to its famously large size and loving looks. These gentle giants are devoted companions, loyal to their family and kind in nature. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you all that you need to know about grooming your dog. Welcome back to the Fenrir St. Bernard Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the St. Bernard, then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect St. Bernard. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future St. Bernard video. So let's jump right into today's video and find out all you need to know about grooming the wonderful St. Bernard. Male St. Bernards stand between 28 to 30 inches at the shoulder and weigh 140 to 180 pounds, whilst females are 26 to 28 inches, weighing 120 to 140 pounds. The St. Bernard's coat can be found as two different variations, short haired and long haired. The short haired coat is smooth but very dense and is slightly bushy on the thighs with a long haired tail that becomes shorter towards the end. Then the long haired coat has a slight wave to it and the forelegs have feathering while the thighs and tail are very bushy. St. Bernard's can be a variety of shades of red with white or white with red and patches and markings on the dogs can differ between individuals. The signature dark markings on a St. Bernard's head and ears resembling a mask are extremely desirable to many St. Bernard lovers. You should brush your St. Bernard about three times every week with a rubber curry brush or hand glove for the short head variation or a pin brush for the long haired variation to remove any loose hairs and any dirt. This will help to reduce the amount of hair that finds its way onto your clothes and furniture. If your St. Bernard develops any mats behind the ears or the thighs, spray a detangling solution onto the area to then gently work out the knot with your fingers or a comb. Regularly brushing your St. Bernard means that you do not necessarily need to bath them as much. They won't need more than three or four baths a year and it's important to be aware that actually more frequent baths will remove the essential oils from their coat and their skin which will make them dry and flaky. This could lead to itching and irritation of the skin which can develop further into serious skin conditions. It is common for St. Bernard's to develop stains around their eyes, which you can prevent by wiping them daily with a damp cloth or using a product which is made for removing such stains. Be sure to check with your vet first. You should brush your dog's teeth at least two or three times a week to remove any dirt and tartar buildup and any bacteria that could cause illness or infection. Daily brushing will prevent gum disease and bad breath, so you can introduce your dog to dentist sticks, which are a great way to keep their mouth and teeth healthy and clean. If your dog doesn't naturally wear down their nails, then you need to trim them once or twice a month to prevent any painful tears or issues. If you can hear them clicking on the floor, then they're too long. If you're not experienced in trimming dog's nails, then it's, a, it's good to ask your vet or groomer for pointers, as dog's nails actually have blood vessels in them. So if you cut them too far, you can cause bleeding, which could become a very negative experience for your dog. Be sure to check your dog's ears weekly for any redness or a bad odour, which may indicate an infection. When you check their ears, be sure to wipe them with a cotton wool ball dampened with a gentle pH balanced ear cleaner to help in preventing any infections. It is important that you don't insert anything into their ear canal and just clean the outer ear as this could cause damage to their ears or cause infections. In order for your dog to be used to being brushed and examined, you should start this throughout puppyhood. The best way to do this is to handle their paws frequently and look inside their mouth. As you groom them, be sure to check for any sores, rashes or infection signs like redness, inflammation or tenderness. This helps to spot any potential health conditions early on. Grooming and regular checkups will help your dog to see it as a positive experience and to not fear any veterinary exams when they're an adult dog. Fill the time with a load of praise and treats and they will see it as a much more positive experience. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated St. Bernard videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir St. Bernard Show.